Hello, girls. We are here today to talk about the 19th of April. It's going to be a very special day. And I would like to be doing now a series of videos because sometimes uh, you see us, you see, you look at us and you think that we are perfect people, that we don't have the same problems as you have. And when I say we, is because I have a few more friends here with me. And in this series, sorry if I made you dizzy right now. <laughs> in this series of videos, I would like to be talking to you about our insecurities as well. Because sometimes you think, oh, they are not insecure. They don't have these problems. They don't face the same problems that I face. And we see that women nowadays, they have conquered so much. They have conquered uh, many things, rights. They have many rights, like men, and uh, they, they, they seek for equal rights. But at the end of the day, how can she seek the, the, the value? that she really has because it's something that you have we have to find inside of us it's not something that you actually conquer in with uh with the law it's something that it's inside of us we see that women have conquered a lot but have they conquered themselves that have they really uh known their values and we see many Many of us, we, we are in constant fight against insecurities, against uh, devaluing ourselves. And I would like to share with you. Um, first of all, I would like to speak with Helena. Hello. <laughs> Helena is like this. When I met her, let me tell you about her story. When I met Helena, she was um, so pretty. And first of all, when I really met her, it was through a picture. And when I saw her picture, I thought, wow, this girl can only be a model. So beautiful <laughs> she is. So let me sit here with, with you, Helena. I'm moving everyone around here. <laughs> because of the sound. If we don't sit close, people can't yeah. hear us, right? Yes. So before you guys complain, uh, Helena, what was the problem with you? Because... Uh, I, when I saw your picture, I saw this beautiful girl. She looked like a model. Wow. Honestly, really beautiful. <laughs> you see, until today, she doesn't believe it. And the thing is, when I met Helena and I said, Helena, you were so beautiful. And she couldn't accept that. You wouldn't see yourself beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Why, Helena? For many reasons. Um, first of all, is the way I used to see myself growing up. I used to see uh, everyone else better than me. I would think that everyone else was better than, than I was. Everyone would dress better than me. Everyone was more successful, would do better at college and school. I was always very insecure. And that made me be like this. And, me, and yeah. uh, previously, uh, we would say to you, oh, you have a nice body and, and everything, but you wouldn't accept as well. Why was that? Because, well... Uh, from all my brothers and, and, and sister, I was the chubbiest one. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I used to think that, oh, I'm not as pretty, because everyone would say when they would come over for Sunday lunch or, or stuff like that, they would say to my sister, oh, she's so pretty. And then when they would turn to me to say hello, they would say, oh, hello, you little chubby, cute thing. And I, I used to hate that. I even had a nickname. They used to call me Piggy. Yeah. And that really affected me. It was funny for them, but for me, it affected me big time. But you were a child then. Yeah, but I grew up with that thing in me until many years after. Many, and, many years. And it was a fight for you to really yeah. see yourself beautiful, yes. wasn't it? Yeah, I remember I was even slimmer than what I am now. And I used to think that I was really big. So much so that now I look back and I, th and I say, oh, I wish I was that weight. You know, mm -hmm. I would be more comfortable within myself. But yeah, this is how much it changed the way I saw myself. So how did that affect you? Because I remember um, 
you were very, uh, very shy. You were very, every time you would say you were beautiful, you would put yourself down. How did this affect you? It's, it's even uh, difficult to put it into words. It's something so deep. You, you go, when I used to go shopping for clothes, I remember when I was single, I, I used to have some money, go out, buy some clothes, but I, well, I would hate myself on those clothes. Nothing, I, would, I wouldn't like anything on me. Everything was, oh, it looks nice on such and such person, but not me. I, I, I had a really uh, big problem with my image. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and how did you over, overcame that? Um, a lot of uh, searching from, because, you know, from because within. you were already with us here. You were yes. ready to marry a pastor, yeah. right? Yes. But you still, you were still full of these insecurities, mm. things that you had to deal with, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Inside, it was inside of you. People would see her so beautiful as she is. Thank you. But she wouldn't <laughs> see. I mean, no. it's. I used to say like this, I can't believe it, Elena, don't you see yourself this way? And you would say, no, I don't. I really don't think I, I'm pretty. And it would actually uh, be confusing because you, you guys like to tease me about that. And I, I didn't see that. I really didn't see, I, I don't know. It's really, you know, when you see yourself in a distorted way, mm -hmm. it takes a lot for you to be free from that. And uh, I had to do a lot of going to the root of the problem. Why was I feeling like this? Where did it, did it all start? And so then I had to find you, some answers and deal with it. You had to go to the root, yes. find the answers, and start acting, right? Mm -hmm. You start changing inside. Yes. So you could look at the mirror and see the beautiful yeah, woman that you are. Definitely. And also something that helped me through uh, advice that you guys gave me, used to give me, is we're not just talking about being pretty and oh I'm pretty and I have to like myself it's because when you feel ugly when you feel that way about yourself every, it affects every area of your life it's like it affects your marriage it affects your relationships it affects how you, you see yourself how you behave around people it makes you shy this is how I used to be I used to be so shy I couldn't even look in the eye of the person when I when I would talk to someone I couldn't look the person in the eyes I was so insecure I would always think oh the person is noticing how fat I am or how uh, you know how big my nose is I, I, we would be having a conversation a normal conversation and I would be thinking about all these things in my mind and the person wasn't even noticing so it, it affects people really and deeply. it's a, a lot that we have to deal with mm -hmm. because it's monsters here inside our heads uh the way we see things the way we see ourselves the way we devalue ourselves this this is the fight we have to take on mm -hmm. and i would like to invite you once again for the 19th of april it's going to be really special you're going to learn how to value yourself Definitely. so see you next time right Elena? yes I'll with be more there. friends <laughs> bye bye, bye, -bye.